hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm showing you how i remove this gel polish design and how i do like a mini fill on these apre dupe nails so i'm starting off by just using a sanding band and it is like a medium grit sanding band so it's very gentle and it does remove gel polish very easy without denting the tips I really prefer to use a drill bit like this. This is like a carbide bit. These are very nice because it removes the polish very quickly, but it does not take, it doesn't chunk into my nails. It doesn't dig into it. So I find that I get a really nice smooth surface and the gel polish comes off super quickly. And if you're curious as to what colors I have in my nails, they are from Nail Reserve LA and I absolutely love these colors and we'll have a video using some of their products coming up very soon. Y'all, I am so happy to be back on YouTube. I have had so much going on lately. I'm getting ready to move. I have just <laughs> been doing a lot. I have filmed a lot of content, so you will see videos more often from me because I've got a lot to post for you guys. So once I do all the nails, remove all the polish, I do take this flame bit and I go around my cuticle area and I just remove any dead skin, any product buildup, any anything. I want to try to get these nails as close to, you know, how it would be if I was doing a fresh set as possible. So I am making sure to, that my cuticles are nice and clean and there is no dead skin just sitting on my nail plate. And I know it looks like I'm being rough. The video is just sped up a little bit, so <laughs> excuse that. So once that's done, you'll see how clean our nails look. Shape still looks good. We have shaped them, they're buffed, they're ready to go. I'm taking my Young Nails Protein Bond and I am just gonna go around on my natural nail that is exposed. And I am using that to prime because we are going to be putting on base coat and gel polish on top of that. If you prefer something a little bit sturdier, um, you can definitely go in with a builder gel in a bottle or even a rubber base coat. Those are really good for, you know, making up that lost space and providing some strength back in your nails. So I'm taking my Madam Glam base coat and we are going to go ahead and apply about two layers of base coat. I'm not using a builder gel today because I don't feel like I need it. Just because I, the design that I'm going to be doing is going to have a lot of layers of gel so by the end of the video the nails will be nice and thick and hard and I won't have to worry about, you know, my nails feeling too thin. So now that's done. I did go ahead and cure that first layer base coat and now I'm going back in with a more generous layer and I like doing this because it does build up the thickness of my nails. I used to do this all the time and it works really good and it's very affordable so <laughs> I highly recommend you try this at least for short to medium length nails. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise in the background. I do have my family home, so just be mindful that's what that is, or even outside. So I'm taking these beautiful neon gel paints from Madame Glam. These colors are absolutely stunning, so gorgeous, so pigmented, and they literally are such a good consistency. You really only need about one layer of this gel paint. So I'm taking my new favorite nude color from Madame Glam. This is Playa. This is from their San Francisco collection, um, which they dropped this summer. I really love this color. I have been meaning to use this as an all over nude base and it's so gorgeous. And for this, I am going to take about two coats of it. That way I get a nice opaque natural 
cover color. To me, this is the perfect nude. It is such a beautiful peachy tone. I think this would look good on like every skin tone. If you are more fair skinned, I would probably do one layer of this and then one layer of a lighter nude and it would probably be super perfect. And guys, I'm so excited for my new house that I'm moving into. I'm gonna be able to have my own like filming studio. So I cannot wait to film all types of content in it. Um, I'm gonna have a nail area set up, a beauty area set up, and just an overall seating area in the room. So I'm super excited and I cannot wait to show you all my new apartment. I am like so pumped to be moving. It's not even funny. And it's it's just exciting. I'm getting a larger pace, space, so I just cannot wait for you guys to see it. So once all the nails are done, this is with two coats of that Playa shade. I'm going in with my Madame Glam top coat and I am gonna go ahead and just top coat all the nails. And you guys know the drill, I am gonna cure this in my nail lamp for about 60 seconds. So once our top coat is cured, I am going in with my gel liner. This is like a yellow slash like kind of greenish color, very cool. Um, so what I'm doing is working on my French tips. I'm not great at this, but I am trying. I do almost like an upside down T and then I kind of use just where I started that like straight line and I use that as like my guideline for my smile line. And then I just go in and I start filling in that French with the long brush. Now you can use a smaller brush or even more of a like angled or whatever kind of brush you like. I do prefer the long brushes just because you really can't see all your like brush strokes when you use this long brush i feel like when you use something shorter um you can see a lot more like patchiness and lines and it just isn't as nice so i do take my time and just fill in the french using this long brush and i know y'all can see how beautiful this color is it's absolutely stunning love how thick these paints are they're so so good and as you can see look i'm taking that brush and you see how much more cleanup i have to do because i use this brush i highly recommend just using the liner brush and smoothing it that way but i wanted to show you what i was talking about You see how that liner, that liner brush just smooths out a lot of those lines? This is what you want. You want it to be smooth and not chunky and not patchy.
And once that's done, I do cure my nail in the nail lamp for about 30 seconds and it turns out so good. So once my French is nice and solid, I am just taking the rest of the colors and I'm going to speed through and do this French design. So as you can see, once again, we're going to make this T and then we're going to do our wings or our smiles. It's completely up to you what you call it. So after I went ahead and did all my Frenches, I am going in with my top coat again. And this is our final layer of top coat. So what we're going to do is we're going to top coat and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. And you're going to want to make sure you do wipe off your top coat sticky layer. That way when you go to do the um, sweater style nails, it doesn't get messy or make your French like. It doesn't make your nude like powdery or dry or looking or matte looking. So once that's done, I am just taking all the colors I used and I'm doing like a swirl design. Now I was kind of going for like a fun, almost like retro look with these tips I love a good French and I love when a French is a little bit different of course I do love the regular pink and white style Frenches but this was so much fun and honestly just a good set of the end of the summer nails And speaking of end of the summer, what kind of nails are you guys excited to see this fall? I know every year we start bringing out the earth tones, the browns, the 
greens, the reds, the oranges. But are you guys still trying to see those nails? Are they like nostalgic or are we looking at more like futuristic colors like jewel tones? What are we thinking for fall 2022? I'm thinking I want to start doing more jewel tones, maybe some more chrome, just something fun. Um, but also I think maybe some textured neutrals would be really pretty. There's just so many ideas I have for fall nails this year. I want to really switch it up and not just do, you know, traditional fall colors. Even though I am an earth tone person, I love earth tone nails, but we want to do something different. So for our design, as you guys could see, we did do all of our swirls and then we just went ahead for curing and covered them in clear acrylic. And that makes them kind of this matte, thick lined, just textured, really cool looking French. And I do, I do go ahead and clean off my brush in between colors. I'm only using one brush for all of the nail art in this video. Well, actually, no. I'm using one brush for per nail thing in this video. So I did the fringes with that long liner. And then for the swirls, I'm using a different kind of skinnier brush. But that's it. And of course, we're just gonna go ahead and sugar that over with clear acrylic and cure. So this is how the nails look when they're all done. As you can see, they are so cute. I am taking some cuticle oil because it just only helps when you get your nails done to have some nice cuticle oil to finish off with. And y'all, I love how these turned out. Super cute and fun, perfect for work, but perfect pop of color. These gel paints are so gorgeous. Don't forget to use my code. It will be down below. And honestly, I hope I see you guys in my next video. I think it's going to be a perfume video, but I don't know. But I really hope you guys stick around to watch some of my content. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.